Logan with me and McGee Market over at the pantry in West Little Rock. And we're gonna see how Chef Titus uses mushrooms on the menu, just like the ones that you can find at the market. All right, here at the German exquisite restaurant, the pantry with my buddy, Chef Titus. How you doing, man? I'm good, buddy. It's, uh, it's glad to, I'm glad to be here, excited to be here. Uh, mushrooms are our theme for sure, but wanted to highlight you and the pantry and everything y'all have got going on. And uh, found out you're from El Dorado. El Dorado, baby, South Arkansas. That's about know. as south as it gets. Oh it? yeah, I mean, people are definitely uh, shocked when I tell them, you know, I'm from El Dorado. I'm, I'm not from Germany, I'm not from Europe. I'm about uh, two hours that way, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, Arkansas boy making some really good German, just, rustic oh yeah. European Rustic food. European, yes. Oh like I said, God. we got a little blend of everything, you know. We got some ger German influence, you know, we got some Czech influence. We got American influence. We yeah. got burgers, we got lasagna, you know. But, you know, we also have some dishes that we use these local mushrooms for, so, yeah. and that's what we're here for, so. I think that's something I really enjoy about food is it can be a melting pot of oh, yeah. uh, influences. And, oh yeah. And that's that's really cool. And with with that uh, farm to table aspect, because it's really important for me and McGee to use local ingredients, but to be able to highlight some restaurants that are in that same same flow, so to speak. Oh yeah. Uh, so tell me why you like uh, using local local ingredients. Well, I mean, number one, local ingredients. You know, it supports you know families here in Arkansas. You know. You can always buy from the different vendors and all that, but if you can get a great product, you know, and get it local, I mean, why, why would you not? Why, why not, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's Arkansas, you know. Yeah. I know sometimes our growing weather, a season is not as great, but hey. We have seasons. Yes, we in have Arkansas, seasons. In Arkansas, we definitely have we seasons. We got About seasons. About eight of them in yes. a given year. And sometimes it happens in one week, That's so right. I mean. That's but right. I mean, it's no reason not to go with local ingredients when you can go with local ingredients and be, they'd be very affordable, Yeah, you know, so yeah. Yeah, well the more people that use it and the more people that grow it, the more affordable it gets. Yes. And so uh, in this, I wanted uh, you to be able to take something that we have absolutely fallen in love with, mushrooms, especially mushrooms. the hardwood uh, gourmet mushrooms, so shiitake, lion's mane, oyster, those kind, and make something that tastes really good. We gonna be able to do that? Oh yeah. You know, mushrooms are so versatile that you can do many different things with them. And I got a few um, things that I got going on in the kitchen that you're gonna be surprised of what I can do with mushrooms. So, you know, it could be a fun experience and we're gonna have a little fun today. Today we're going to be going back and uh, using some mushrooms from the Planthora Fungi Mushroom Farm. I'm going to be making a mushroom ragu on top of polenta with a little bit of fresh uh, arugula. All right, we're going to start with a little olive oil. We're going to do that part right there. We're going to add some onions, some carrots. We're going to kind of let that cook down a little bit and we're going to let that sweat a little bit in order to release some of the flavors. We're going to add a little mushroom stock that I made from the stems of the mushrooms and so that way we can cook those carrots and onions. Once we get those carrots cooked and those onions going, we're gonna add those mushrooms, let it cook down, add some fresh herbs that I got from Arkansas Natural Produce, and we throw a little garlic in there. And once it's all done, we're gonna finish it with a little bit of mustard. And the tricky part to the mustard is, it makes it a little bit creamy, and this dish will be vegan and vegetarian. There's many types of mushrooms now, and some of the local ones, the lion's manes, the um, P.O.P.O. PO mushrooms, the lion's manes, they absorb a lot of flavor. And like, you can put a great stock or whatever and they will absorb that flavor. Um, the texture on those is a little bit, you know, like softer than say a shiitake, which a lot of people are very familiar with shiitakes, you know. We use shiitake mushrooms in our um, goat cheese flatbread, which is a very popular dish. Um, it's one of our, vegetarian dishes and we also have a mushroom app that we put an egg on top and once you crack that egg on there, you know, um, egg yolks make that, makes the mushroom very creamy. Here's your mushroom ragu with polenta with a fresh arugula, please enjoy. Thanks brother, appreciate it. 
I think Titus has given us some unbelievably good ideas on how to use mushrooms. Definitely in a more gourmet, the rustic European way. But I think these are gonna be something that we can incorporate regularly in our meals. I'm excited to dive in.